Hello, beautiful friends and crafters. Welcome to Carol's Craft Cottage. Today, I'm going to share with you a plethora of summer themed projects using Scrap Diva Design dies. I'm going to show you several dies. There's a lot of them in this uh, project right here. And if you are interested in purchasing any of them, they can be purchased here at www.scrapdivadesigns.com. Please use Carol 10 at checkout for 10% off your entire purchase. So to begin with, we're going to start with this die right here, which is the swirl bow that I used for this project. We have the bathing suit mini album. We have the loaded banner die. And I just used the two, these two dies in this set, the, the outer one with the design and then the stitched one. And also in the loaded banner fronts, I used both of these dies, the decorated one and the stitched one on both of these sets. Next, we have the heart rosette. I used both of these to make a rosette on my banner. I have the sailboat shaker, which is a really cute die. And we have the sand castle. We have the cocktail glass shaker. This is a pretty die. Nice one to have in your collection for the summer. Also, I'm including this one because I changed my mind on my sand pail project and I had 14 of these lipstick gift boxes that I did not want to throw away so I made something different with it. I have the beach words and these say uh let's see beach hair don't care it has bright sparkle sun sunshine um it looks like U and R also in this uh, set, selection of beach words. I use a older die. It's the spring Easter slash spring borders. I used the pineapple shaker bundle. This has three size pineapples in it and I used each size as a small, medium, and a large, that's another fun die to have in your collection. I use this Essential Bundles number one. I use the circle stitched and the circle with the decorative edge. I used these uh, Say It with Crystals. This is sort of like a red, but it does have a pink and a gold shine to it. And I also used this one, which is the Summer Words. It has like beach vibe, relax, vacation, sun, please, uh, and fun in this section, uh, selection. So I'm gonna take that out of the way and I'm gonna turn my camera down so you can see my projects. So I decided to do these projects for an upcoming cruise that I'm having later this year and I usually decorate my uh, door. There's sometimes a door decorating contest. Whether there's a contest or not, I still decorate my door because you know what? It's easier to find your room <laughs> when you have it decorated, when there's one right after another that looks the same. So I am doing a tropical theme for this vacation. Uh, sometimes when I go during the holidays, like if it's around uh, Halloween, I will decorate, you know, for Halloween. But this one, I'm going to do a tropical theme. And I have made a couple banners with the Scrap Diva Design dies. And here you can see I have used the loaded banner die. And I made two banners and they each have the three different, see the, on the bottom, the three different banners. I like that um, on this set right here. So I'll start with this one right here. This is the loaded banner, of course, with the essentials bundle is the 
circles behind here, so essential bundles number one. And I have the largest pineapple shaker from Scrap Diva Designs. And I just love this die. And I love creating dimension with the pineapple top leaves. So what I did here, in case you're interested in having dimension like that in your pineapple, is of course I've got the flat one in the back. And I did use Distress Ink on it. And then you get another die. Let me pull that die up here so I can explain it better. So this is the large one that I used in this set. So I used this one right here, which goes on top of this. So I used this one and cut it in green. And it's flat. And I used some Distress Ink on it. And then this is the next one that goes on top of there. And I bent the leaves a little bit and I put it down a little bit lower so that you can see dimension. And then on this one here, I cut two of them. And so we're gonna go back to that so you can see how it was layered. Now you see, I put one going this way. This is one and this is one here. So I have a lot of dimension in this pineapple and I think it looks absolutely beautiful. And then I just put a little bow with a flower from my stash in the center of it. And it makes a beautiful addition to this banner. These hibiscus uh, dies are from my stash that I got on AliExpress some time ago. The middle one is, of course, the beach words. And it says, beach hair, don't care. And then here is the sandcastle die, and I just put some diamond dots on there to make it sparkle. And in the background, we have the heart rosette, and it's the one with the smaller hearts. And I did these uh, hibiscus throughout to make everything coordinate together. And this is still the same paper collection that I did in the other video and I'll leave a uh, link to that because I purchased it off Etsy. I think it's beautiful. I really got my money's worth out of that um, digital paper collection. So here we have the bathing suit mini album and I used it to decorate one of my banners and I just used some flowers uh, that I created from some dyes from my stash and then here again is a hibiscus and this little seahorse is from Cottage Cuts. So that's the first banner. And let's see, I can just give you another look. All right, and then we're going to go to the second banner. I might hang these from the ceiling. Uh, maybe not the door on the door, but from the ceiling. They'll look good uh, up high. So here is the second banner, and you can see here that I have the sailboat shaker, and I just love these little flags, pennants that come with that shaker die, and I just put a little rose on here that I created, and my hibiscus again, and these little starfish come from the sand pail die. I didn't show you that die, but that is from the Scrap Diva Sandpail die. Then we have the Summer Words. I believe that would be the Summer Words. Yep. Um, beach Vacation is what I put on here. That beautiful turtle is from Cottage Cuts. I love this. I created dimension in it by cutting the turtle die with some green glittered cardstock, and then I just cut some plain black cardstock, I think three times, and then I added uh, that little green in the background. And you can see how much dimension you get with that. It really makes a difference in your projects. I just love that turtle. I wanted to use it more than once, but I didn't. <laughs> and here's the last banner. I did the, let's see what this is called. I want to make sure I get it right. The cocktail glass shaker. And this to me is a margarita. 
because of this little piece right here that I put some chunky glitter on to make the salt. <laughs> and I created my little orange with uh, two different types of orange glittered cardstock. And I put the little parasol umbrella in my drink. And I accented the glass with a little flower from my stash. And here we have the hibiscus again. So this is another great banner that I'm going to have for decorating my uh, door. So the next thing I'm going to share with you is you remember my video with the little sand pails. And I decided not to do the lip balm after all. And so I went with the um, hand, sanit hand sanitizer. And then I altered these little composition books. And I think these are just adorable. This is the medium pineapple shaker from the pineapple shaker bundle. And of course, the summer word fun. And I have a pink flamingo from Cottage Cuts. And I have a little flower I created from a dye that I have. And here again, I did the same thing with the pineapple top to create all that dimension in the pineapple. And it's just adorable. So I just altered. You can find these little composition books everywhere right now because of back to school. I know our kids here in Georgia go back to school the first week of August, so our school supplies are ready. So this is going in here with the hand sanitizer, and I'll put this in front so you can see how cute it looks. And then I, I always take bubbles with me on my cruises because I like to sit on the balcony or stand on the balcony and blow bubbles and watch the sea breeze take them. <laughs> it's a big kid in me. So I decided to share the love of that with my cabin mates. And so I'm including a little bubbles with, um, I just altered this a little bit with a ribbon and this little shell die is from cottage cuts that I've had for some time. <clears throat> and I'm gonna put that inside. And then I found some fruit flavored or scented gel pens and I really like these. I'm going to get more of them. I need some for myself. I didn't realize how nice they wrote until I got them. They were from the Dollar Tree and that fits in there and then you can see I still have some room so I'm going to put some candy because it's always nice to have candy on your cruise. They don't have a uh, a lot of candy there. They do have a little candy store, but it's expensive. So I'm going to put some little chocolate in that. So that's that project. And then I had all the lipstick or yeah, lip balm gift boxes that I had done. I had 14 of them. So I did not want to um, not do something with them. So I decided to make these little gift boxes to give away on my cruise as well. And um, a nice little thing to do is to fill these with candy and then put a little gratuity in there for your waitress or waiters or whatever. So I made these and this is the small pineapple shaker. And again, the Cottage Cuts Flamingo. And I did another little flower that I created here to put on the pineapple. And you can see I still have all that layering in that pineapple. This is the swirl bow from Scrap Diva Designs. And I kept with the hibiscus. And the word sunshine is from the beach words. So that makes a cute little gift. I only had to make one more of the lip balm or lipstick gift boxes because I had 14 so I made one to complete the set because there's five boxes in one of these boxes. So I'll leave the link for this because I already have a tutorial on how to make this. I'll leave the link below for that along with the link to the paper that I used 
And last but not least, I had a lot of the bathing suit uh, mini album pieces left. I don't know why I had so many, but I did. I had a lot of them left. And my friend um, Angie, who is gathering jewels, made one of these with the bathing suits. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is really cute. I really want to make one of these to take with me to give away to someone on the cruise, probably the host of the um, gift exchange. I know she'd probably appreciate something like this. And instead of making it a mini album, I put it like this so that she could just pull this out and put her pictures on this. And I actually think this is easier to maneuver than to um, gather all of these up on a ring. So that's what I did. This is uh, using the Chaos Craft uh, Tag Caddy die. And you can see here I decorated with the uh, palm tree. That's a Cottage Cuts die. And I have the swirl bow here from Scrap Diva Designs. And the edges on here is like a doily. It's very pretty. And Scrap Diva has the Easter spring borders that match it. So I decided to cut that and put that on the edge here of the box. Isn't that pretty? And on this side, I have the flamingo. So everything matches and it says beach vacation. So I think this is adorable. So I'd like to thank you all for joining me today. I appreciate it so much. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button and to subscribe and stay up to date on what's going on on my channel. Just hit the notification button. And until next time, everyone, happy, happy crafting. Bye-bye.